What is the origin of hazel eyes and why did they develop in the first place? Also, how can you tell if you've got hazel eyes versus green eyes or amber eyes or brown eyes? I will answer these and many other questions in this video. Now around 5% of the world's population have hazel eyes, with around 18% of the US population also having them. They are the joint third most popular eye colour in the world along with amber eyes, with brown being the most common eye colour and blue being the second most common. Out of interest, do you have hazel eyes? Please let me know in the comments below. In general, there are two main types of hazel eyes, those with brown being the dominant colour in the iris and those with green being the dominant colour. While all hazel eyes have a combination of green and brown colours, the difference in dominant colours is why they can appear either mostly green or mostly brown. Given this, hazel eyes can often be confused with other eye colours in different lighting circumstances and different environments. Hazel eyes can often be confused with amber eyes for instance, although they are two separate colours. Although hazel eyes may contain specks of amber and gold, they usually tend to have many other colours, including green, brown and orange, while amber eyes are of a solid gold hue. Also hazel eyes may appear to shift in colour and consist of flecks and ripples. Hazel eyes can also sometimes be confused with green eyes. One of the main differences between green and hazel eyes, however, is that green eyes usually have a solid green hue, with more or less a single colour throughout the iris. Hazel eyes are multicoloured on the other hand, with a shade of green and a characteristic burst of brown or gold radiating outwards from around the pupil. Some people also confuse hazel eyes with brown eyes. Brown eyes, however, are mainly brown and may show only slight hints of green or other colours, whereas hazel eyes often have a combination of various colours. Now the reason why hazel eyes have more of a spectrum of different colours compared to brown eyes is because they have less melanin than brown eyes and also a different distribution of melanin within the layers of the iris. This lower concentration of melanin compared to brown eyes allows more light to be scattered in the iris, in a similar way to how blue and green eyes get their colour and it's also why the sky is blue. And this process gives rise to the various beautiful colours we see in hazel eyes. Hazel eyes do have more melanin than green, blue and grey eyes however, but again less than brown. In general, a complex genetic process is involved in how much melanin is produced by the iris, and scientists are still really trying to figure this out, with at least 16 different genes responsible for eye colour, with the HERC2 and OCA2 genes particularly important in this process, which are located on chromosome 15. Different clothing can also sometimes change how your eyes look, and if you're trying to figure out what colour eyes you have, looking into a mirror wearing a white t-shirt can sometimes help, according to some sources online. Now before looking at some of the reasons for hazel eyes, let's turn our attention to their origin. Well, the term hazel comes from the colour of a hazel nut and is recorded describing eyes as early as the 1690s. Today, hazel eyes are most common in Spain, with 55.2% of people in Spain having hazel green eyes according to a 2009 study, as well as in North Africa, the Middle East and Brazil. Now as far as the precise origin of hazel eyes, it is unknown who the first person was with them and where they originated from, and more research is needed to determine this. One point to note however is related to geography. It's interesting that hazel eyes are most common in relatively connected regions of the globe. Obviously North Africa and the Middle East are quite close by to each other and it obviously would be possible for a people who had the genetic trait of hazel eyes to move between the two regions. Spain is close by as well and is also connected to North Africa through the Moors and other peoples who had a major influence on the Iberian Peninsula down through history. And Brazil also has strong connections to the Iberian Peninsula through Portugal. Although this is just speculation on my part, you could potentially make the argument that hazel eyes are connected geographically to a large degree, and you could potentially make the argument that the origin of hazel eyes may have been around the, the North African region and then spread into different areas and connected regions through the movement of people over the centuries and millennia. This is just a thought however, and more research is needed to really understand the origins of hazel eyes. We do know as well that hazel eyes did feature in different mythologies down through the ages, with some ancient cultures believing that individuals with hazel eyes possessed special powers, such as the ability to ward off evil spirits. As far as the reason for hazel eyes, a 2015 paper that looked at the inheritance of hazel eye colour in North India had some interesting findings. The results indicated that hazel eyes are probably the result of more than just genetics, and that climate and the environment probably had an impact on hazel eyes developing. As they write, 
Our pedigree study suggested that hazel eye colour inheritance does not follow the Mendelian inheritance patterns. It also showed that the hazel eye colour is not sex linked, and moreover, that it is neither autosomal dominant nor autosomal recessive. One case from Kangra, Himachal Pradesh, a region with mild temperate climate, showed higher occurrence of hazel eyes in the family, with many lineages showing continuous expression of hazel eyes for three generations and in some for four generations. The two cases involving families from other regions with humid subtropical climate had a comparatively lesser number of persons with hazel eyes, showing continuous expression of hazel eyes for only two generations and a few lineages. Thus, climate may have a role in eye pigmentation due to differential expression of the genes responsible for eye colour. Since there are many different genes responsible for the production of eye colour, like OCA2, BE2, GI, HERSI2, etc., primarily the expression of these genes might produce the eye colour, but the climate and the environment might have its own influence on the expression of these genes. So from this study, at least in India, it seems hazel eyes were more common in the region with a bit of a milder climate. Relatively speaking, that is, it is India after all, and I live in Scotland for comparison. In general though, if we look more globally, and obviously if we consider that hazel eyes, as far as the melanin concentration, are somewhere in between brown eyes that have the most, and blue or grey eyes that have the least, hazel eyes sit somewhere in the middle as far as melanin concentration. It would make sense geographically that we see hazel eyes, the concentration of hazel eyes, somewhere in the middle. Spain, North Africa, the Middle East and Brazil are all somewhere in the middle geographically. They're not too far north and not too far south. So it would make sense geographically if we consider that climate may be one driver of eye colour in general. In fact, this paper from India in 2015 nicely details one way the environment may impact eye colour, given the climate and the level of light in different parts of the world. As the paper noted, the blue or green eye colour are rare in India. Unlike India, in the European and American populations, the blue or green eye colour is more common. This difference in the eye colour may be due to environmental influences. Melanin protects the cells from the harmful effects of the UV radiations from the sun. In countries like India, where temperature remains higher throughout the year in most parts of the country, this pigment might have a role in protection of our skin and eyes. In colder countries, where the sun rays do not fall direct, and the climate conditions are mild when compared to other parts of the world at the same latitude, we come across people with lighter skin and eye pigmentation. Obviously, there are various genetic mechanisms involved in eye colour, but it is interesting to note the potential impact of environment and climate on eye colour, and obviously I make the argument to do with light in my videos on both green and blue eyes. That might be one reason why, why they evolved in Northern Europe, um, but obviously you can check them videos out after this one. In general, as far as another reason that hazel eyes may have been selected for over time is to do with sexual attractiveness. In general, human beings tend to value things that are rare or perceived to be rare. Whether that is precious metals such as gold or jewellery or diamonds or fine art or in relation to physical traits as well. Given that only 5% of the global population has hazel eyes, and they probably have been relatively rare down through history, combined with being filled with various beautiful colours such as green and gold, it's easy to see why hazel eyes could have been valued and admired down through the ages. In general though, hopefully there's more research into hazel eyes moving forward, as there wasn't as much research and really good research and st academic studies etc into hazel eyes specifically than I'd hoped, and not really compared to blue or green eyes that there seems to have been a wee bit more research devoted to, but hazel eyes are interesting in themselves and hopefully there is more research into them. Obviously hazel eyes are often confused with green eyes, and to find out more about green eyes, please click here. Thanks for watching, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well, and any interesting sources that you, you come across. Please also subscribe to this channel, hit the bell and tell your friends and family about it. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.